Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collective podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons, terrorize! Hi, my name is Rick Alvarez. I'm a former creative manager for Hasbro. I'm, I'm an author, I'm a Transformers collector. And this is the pilot episode of Cut the Tape. It's the show where I have a reason now to go back and open all the toys that have been waiting for me to open for the last 20 plus years. Uh, for whatever reason, I've accrued a backlog of toys that I just haven't gotten around to opening. Timing, space, uh, kids, whatever. So this show gives me an excuse to open all that stuff up. And some of it is vintage, so I thought, well, I should record it for posterity. So the first episode, we have Animated Roadbuster Ultra Magnus. This came at the end of the line. This was uh, released in 2009. So I have two of them here. And the reason I have two is because with everything that I open, I buy two of each, at least. One to keep in the package, one to open. If there's a variant, well, I had to hunt that down too. So before I started filming, I already looked at the boxes to see if there's any variations on them. There are not. And I've already decided which is the nicer box to keep uh, sealed. So it's gonna be this guy right here. I'm gonna put him right over there because he's going to go back on the shelf so this ultra magnus is getting opened this is uh from the animated tv series as i said 2009 it's ultra magnets but it's colored in uh roadbuster colors why i i don't know uh i was already working at hasbro when this figure came out and i don't think i ever got a clear answer why isn't roadbuster colors other than it looks cool. But one thing to notice about this Ultra Magnus, when you do a redeco of a toy, that redeco kind of becomes absorbed into the character or the toy DNA, and it's perpetuated throughout various lines. So painting an Optimus toy white and calling him Ultra Magnus seems to perpetuate most of the toy lines. But painting Ultra Magnus at Roadbuster never really went anywhere than this one toy. I think it'd be really cool if we got a G1 Magnus in Roadbuster colors. So, I have knife, wire cutters. Let's go. Now, another thing I like to do is I like to keep all the boxes and card backs that I open, so I'm a little delicate when it comes to opening this stuff. But, as you can see, it is sealed uh, because of the shape of the box, actually. I'm wondering what is the best way to... All right, I'm going to go this way. Whew, 2009. So this is 10 years old, and I'm finally getting around to cutting the tape on this one. And done. Woo! Thanks for tuning in, everybody. That was Cut the Tape. Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll keep going. We'll... We'll take them out of the box, see how this goes. You know, a lot of people do unboxing videos, but this is, uh, this is a little more unique because it's a modern take on a vintage item. So this is the same, uh, has the same gimmicks as the previous animated Ultra Magnus. Same voice chip. him out of the box. Instructions are uh, hid down here. Now, in typical Hasbro fashion, it's got a lot of twist ties on it. Now, I used to be the type of guy that would just sit there all day and turn the twist ties and then put them back through the hole they came through. But now that I'm older and more crotchety, I'm just gonna do this instead. So, 
since I'm shooting this, I'm gonna go from behind. Freezing. Snip, 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 snip. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five snips up here. There's some side for the hammer. Six, and feet. So I'm gonna go underneath to preserve the integrity of the box. Because, uh, you know, one day I may sell just the box or I may sell my loose collections and I wanna put them back in the box. So here he comes. So he's got some clear uh, rubber bands on him to kind of keep everything in place, keep all the panels from uh, moving around during uh, shipping. Just gonna, sometimes they're easy to come off, sometimes I just feel like snipping them. Today, I'm just gonna snip them. What's weird about this version of Ultra Magnus is that the head is the same color as the general release Ultra Magnus, the one from the show. So it's blue and it's kind of a weird contrast against the green and the, the orangey brown. And yes, I'll save all these ties too and put them back in the box, even the ones I cut. So let's see. So instantly, so since I'm in my new collection room, I've been setting up a lot of my toys and I've been setting up a lot of loose figures lately, which kind of led to me having another reason to open all my backlog of toys. I can tell you right off the bat that this is already looser than my other regular animated Ultra Magnus, which has been open for 10 years already been played with and displayed for 10 years. This feels a little loose. All right, so here's the test. Do the battery still work after 10 years of being sealed away in the box? They do not. Is there something to activate the batteries? Perhaps I need to put batteries in the box, in him. Electronic lights, is, no. He's gotta try me on the box, which means that the batteries are just dead. So the head does move. Hey, I'm Ultra Magnus over here. Wow. You know, opening stuff like this is. I never thought I'd actually get around to opening my backlog of stuff. I've got. G2 stuff I need to open. I've got I've got a Brave Max sitting over there I need to open. And they're just doubles. Doubles that I haven't gotten around to yet. I'm pretty happy with this. I think this is a harder to get figure from what I remember. Looks pretty good. I wish my batteries worked. He is a little loose, but he looks good. He's got a, like a War for Cybertron Springer vibe. There was a Bakan Springer toy from uh, Wings of Deception set, I think it was. And this kind of has that vibe to it. And that toy was also redecoed as Word Buster, if I recall. Yeah. So that's it, that's Animated Ultra Magnus. Released in 2009, opened in 2019. All right, thanks a lot.